welcome to RC time. Um, since I last seen you, I've finished the yellow on the Goose Large and I've mastered up. Um, mastered up the wing yellow as well. Um, I think you'll have seen me spraying the yellow on on an earlier video. Since then, my compressor blew up. <laughs> So it's some sort of fault, uh, basically it gets up to pressure, motor stops and then it just dumps the air out. So it hasn't blown up as such but it's gone wrong, something in the electronics, a um, bit annoying. Uh, then uh, the air air releases, the compressor then tries and pumps up and jams the motor and starts smelling the smoke. So that's gone off, um, that's still under warranty so it's gone off to be repaired. I was going to go and buy another one just to, so I could carry on but they said they'll have it back to me in a week so so it's not really worth another 150 quid so I shall wait be a bit patient I've got plenty of little bits and pieces to get on with um, just been flying for the last two days that was good fun I uh, had a couple of really good days one was a little bit breezy the other day was uh, perfect couldn't have wanted better <coughs> excuse me <coughs> couldn't have wanted better flying weather no wind, bit of sun and a little bit of overcast at the same time. I like the overcast because you ain't got the sun in your eyes. I like the sun because it's warm. Um, but yeah, that was um, that was a lovely day and I'd done a lot of flying. I flew my uh, 20cc Hangar 9 P51, which at the end of this flying season is going to be stripped fiberglassed and repainted because the coat covering on it that comes when you buy it it's now getting a bit rough it's nearly four years old it's had quite a few flights um, and I flew the reconditioned Seagull 80 inch Spitfire um, I think you've seen that on an earlier video um, that was an 80 inch Spitfire that I had given to me because it had been crashed that I completely rebuilt and then stripped all the seagull covering off it um, gave it a coat of fiberglass basically same as we've done with this um, and sprayed it and painted it all up and um, yeah it looks very nice and it flew very very well um, yeah I had a couple of good flights with that and uh, I actually my son turned up when I flew that and being younger he's a little bit better on the camera than the rest of the old guys um, so I have got a little bit of footage of that and I shall tack that on to the end of this film um, it's not very long but a minutes long um, footage of that so he brought that um, 69 inch mark 1 Spitfire that he built um, we didn't fly it because he had got there got it all together and one of the flaps wouldn't come down or up um, and we decided that due to the fact there was very little wind um, I could have flown it without flaps but if I had accidentally hit the flat switch flap switch um, it would have made it very unstable and could have crashed the airplane with one flap coming down and one staying up so we decided not to risk it we also had a problem he'd forgot to program the EFC um, yep speed controller in there and when they come from the factory um, they come set a standard for helicopters um, and you have to reprogram them to uh, to be used for airplanes so it had a 10 second delay on the start you know slow wind up for a helicopter whereas with an airplane you need instant power uh, so with them two problems we decided that wasn't worth risking either one you could get away with in a pinch if you had to but you know that just wasn't worth risking that airplane um so we didn't fly it but like yeah like i say that's a lovely day um like i say we got about a week hopefully only a week but you know what these companies are like they say a week and that can turn into two um until we get the compressor back so that we can carry on spraying this i've got another tin of primer down and down in the shed um, so I might give this another coat of primer anyway before I um, paint it because I have rubbed a lot of the primer off in places um, so I might give that another coat and then another rub down uh, so we've got that to do um, now the 80 inch Spitfire um, I think you saw on an earlier video I'd done a modification on the undercarriage on the 80 inch Spitfire that worked brilliant no problems at all 
So now that's done, I can get my new spats fitted to the to the wheels. So I got them to do. Um, I've still got the we done the soldering for speed controller for the P forty seven, the little little P forty seven. Um, that's got to be fitted and the battery tray sorted out. That's got to be fired up. Uh, the undercarriage on that is a mechanical one, so I need to do all the timing and stuff on to my radio for that. Uh, check the CAG, so I've got plenty to do with that to get that finished. Um, I've got some work on my Mark 14 Spitfire, the Brian Taylor one I scratch built, uh, uh, built from plan uh, two years ago. It's not scratch, that's plan built, sorry. Um, that's got I want to tidy up the guns where I, I didn't have a, I had a little bit of a bumpy land and standard thing with a Spitfire, you know, rolls a little on the grass and then tips on its nose and it caught one of the cannons and ripped it out of the wing. I have since tidied that up and that and uh, made it good and filled up, but that's still got to be painted and tarted up and um, a few little tartan jobs need doing on that. So I've got that to do. So we got... We've got loads of little jobs to do. There's never anything not to do with modelling, um, especially if you fly them. If we hang them on the ceiling, then obviously nothing will ever get broken. Um, so, yeah, so I've got plenty of little jobs to get on with. So if anything I do is sort of seems interesting or whatever, I'll film it and that will just fill in until the compressor comes back. Um, so, and obviously between now, the weather's sort of broken and that, there may be some more flying days. We aren't doing very well, well on people filming um i might have to invest in a better camera but whether that will help us um i don't know we shall have to see um but we'll keep trying on that but it's it's a little bit different you know if um, during the summer when we're sort of flying every other weekend or well sometimes two or three times a week if we get a chance but at least every weekend or every other weekend um i'll um you know just keep tacking little bits on the build videos i'll still be building during the summer uh maybe not as much but i still will be building um so yeah like i say I'll, I'll tack on what i can when we when we get some films every now and then we're lucky enough to get the airplane in the lens <laughs> so yeah yeah so i'm uh, sorry that's about as interesting as going to get today um I don't think there's anything else I want to tell you to you. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's, that's it. I hope you guys are all flying as well. All the UK guys, you should be all flying now. Like I say, this weekend just gone was brilliant. Bank holiday weekend was rubbish. Um, it's looking reasonable weather for this week. I might actually even get to the, to the field on Wednesday. We shall see. Um, so, yeah, enjoy yourself. Um, happy flying if you're flying enjoy this video um, do apologize if content is a little bit ups and down for a week or two till that compressor's back and once that's back we can get this finished once this is finished um, we can then start looking at the next kit and next project all right thank you very much for watching and bye bye Don't forget to take the lens cover off. Yeah, I have. Right, you ready? Yeah, I've got it. You want to stand by? I got it, just. Me. I'll uh, try and do a. You ready? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. I'm still on it. Oh, excellent. Yeah. We've got a cameraman at last. Told you you've got to come flying every weekend. Yeah, uh, try about this now. Yeah, I'm watching. I lost it there. <laughs> well, I've got some good stuff. There we go. 
low fly pass. It's like being at Duxford. Huh? It's like being at Duxford. Yeah, isn't it? I'm gonna have to come in in a minute. Yeah, yeah. I got you loads of footage. Look nice there. Yeah, got that. Coming in. Down. Flaps down. Up. So you need a lot of runway to land. Oh yes, yeah, better that than none than crashing it. Yeah. I think the grass is as good as it's ever been, Matt. I do. I think his cut will do a lovely job of it. Lovely, isn't it? I might give him a fiver towards petrol as well. But I'll go borrow it off you. 